is you're going to be uh, doing a research project for this unit. Last unit, you did a research project on a toxin of your choice. This time, it's going to be on a plant species of your choice. Okay, And we want to look at this from the standpoint of how is your plant or how does your plant adapt to its environment? How is it suited to survive where it survives? Okay, And we want to look at that from a standpoint of the things we've talked about in class that plants do. So things like tropisms, things like plant hormones, things like how they transport water and nutrients, okay? how you know osmosis creates the pulling force, how does that kind of stuff work in the environment in which your plant grows? All right, so it's gotta be about adaptation and the stuff we've talked about in class in terms of how a plant works. Okay, so you're going to examine growth patterns and adaptations of a plant of your choice. That should include a description of the plant's native environment, okay, and the conditions it must deal with in that environment. So if you're talking about like uh, an Engelmann spruce, okay, they live near the tree line in the Rocky Mountains where winters are long and cold and summers are short and hot and it's quite dry. Okay? And, uh, you know, rock slides and avalanches and things like that are a major possibility. Okay? You would be, I mean, obviously you'd be more thorough than that, but you'd be describing its environment. What kind of soils are there? Um, are there insects that feed on it? Are there, you know, um, parasitic infections that they need to worry about? Um, things like that. Okay, so describing its environment and the challenges that its environment might present. Okay, that'll lead to a detailed description of how your plant grows, adapts, and deals with the, these conditions. Okay, so when your plant grows, like how long does it take? Is it a very quick growing plant or does it take hundreds of years for it to become mature and, and old? Okay, um, you might want to talk about whether it's an annual which means it only grows for one year and then dies, okay? Or is it a perennial, it comes back every year? Is it evergreen or deciduous, okay? So does it lose its leaves or does it keep them all year long? Um, you know, things like that. So we're, we're looking at the uh, description of how it grows. So how does it even seed itself, okay? Does, uh, does it come with or come from seeds that are in a fruit or does it come from seeds that are in a cone or is it just spores or or what okay how does how are those seeds transported do they ride on the back of a bird or do they just fall to the ground or are they blown in the wind like dandelions or whatever okay talk about those kinds of things um, if your plant has any special adaptations that prevent it from being eaten, damaged, or just plain survive in its environment, those should be described as well. Thorns on a cactus would be an example. Some plants are poisonous, so animals don't eat them. Okay, things like that. All right, what are some adaptations it has? All right, so in your project, you need to report on the structure of your plant. Okay, and so we've, we've talked about that. Is it a flowering plant? Is it a conifer, which means it makes cones instead? Is it a moss, right? What is it? Uh, what are its specific needs in terms of light, water, soil, and nutrients? Okay, describe the conditions. We already talked about that your plant has to be able to survive. How does it do this? Okay, um, using your knowledge of plant structure, growth, and development to illustrate how your plant species is unique and how it is adaptive, okay? In terms of growth, development, and life cycle, be specific, describe how it is seeded, how it initially develops, what conditions may be necessary for this to occur. Okay, Right now, there's uh, this plant in the tropical rainforest in South America that is going extinct because its seeds have to pass through the tract of the dodo bird, which is extinct, Okay, in order for them to germinate. So that plant species is going to go extinct because the organism that is supposed to transport its seeds is dead. Okay, so it's going to go extinct too. That's like an extreme case, but right, um, that would be something, all right, that would be obviously um, conditions that may be necessary for it to occur. Okay, describe how it grows as a sapling or a sprout. Is it quick? You know, what does the sprout look like? Does it look a lot different than the adult plant? Okay, at what age it may be considered mature? Is it annual, perennial, evergreen, deciduous, etc.? And how does that affect its growth and development? If something is deciduous, obviously it only gets to grow for half the year. Hey, looking at environmental influences, because we talked about okay, the biotic and abiotic components, the factors affecting plant growth. Okay, describe how conditions in the plant's environment can affect its tissues. Are there parasitic organisms? Does it have to survive long winters or extended droughts? Okay, um, you know, how does it uh, fight or resist these infections? Is fire, flooding, drought, freezing a concern? And how is your plant adapted to survive or reproduce after such an event? Okay, also in here, I would describe how it competes 
with other organisms or with other plants. Okay, uh, a prime example of um, something a plant does that helps to compete with other plants would be um, basically any type of spruce, but especially white spruce. Um, when they're, the needles that fall off, when they fall off, obviously they fall kind of right around the base of the tree, they're acidic. They make the soil around the tree acidic and nothing else can grow there. Okay, if you ever noticed, basically nothing grows under a spruce tree. Okay, and that's because it essentially poisons the soil. It can tolerate it, okay, but the other stuff can't, and so you don't see things growing underneath. Okay. Um, all right, visual aids. Your project must contain pictures and or diagrams. You could have graphs and charts of growth studies if you found them, whatever. Okay, just make sure that you're putting stuff in that has to do with what you're talking about, not finding random pictures to throw in there. Okay. Um, you can put in video clips. I know like I've seen a few people who found like stop motion or time lapse like videos of a plant growing. Okay, huh, that's cool enough. I mean, if you're talking about its growth and life cycle, that might be something if you find it. Okay, you could put it in. All right. Um, so that's those are the expectations there in terms of things that need to be covered. Okay, don't forget about citing your references properly. Okay, we talked about that on the last one. Okay, some people still lost marks on that because they didn't cite it properly. Remember, we are looking for the author's name, the date the article was posted, the name of the article, the name of the magazine or website that it's coming from, then the URL, and the date you accessed it. Obviously, that would be April 9th, okay, uh, 2019. Okay. So remember to have it in that format and you're going to need many references for this. Okay, like at least five references, same as last time. Okay, um, planning. A lot of people forgot that the last time as well. Okay, I am looking for a timeline for sure. You must have that. Tell me when you work on it and what you do on those days. Okay, so it doesn't have to be, you know, really super detailed. It just needs to say April 9th, started research, um, made outline. Okay, the second thing you need for your planning is either an outline or a thought web, whichever one makes more sense to how you think. Okay, but the thought web or outline needs to talk about the ideas that you're going to talk about and where you're going to talk about them. Okay. So those two things, and that's five marks, right? They just got to be there. It's five easy marks. Format, okay, you can do uh, like a Google Slides, okay, I've, I've given you a template file for that, or you could do uh, Google Doc and put in pictures, whichever, okay, it's basically just a strict report, okay, you're not putting in any opinions or defending a position or anything like that, you're just reporting on this stuff, okay. Um, Remember that you do need to have those visual aids, okay? And we're looking for, okay, uh, I don't know why it says three here, you're only getting two class periods, but okay. Uh, essays should be between 1,200 and 1,600 words. To give you an idea, that's between one and a half and two pages typewritten, single spaced in the Google Docs defaults, All right? If you're doing this on Google Slides, I would suggest typing all your text into Google Docs so you can get the word count there and then copy and paste things over to whatever slide you're going to put them into after. Okay. So you're going to be evaluated in five categories, five marks for your initiating and planning, timeline, and thought web or outline, whichever one. Okay. Analysis and interpretation has to do with okay, the stuff you find out about your plants, okay, how it's adaptive, all that kind of stuff, how you communicate that. Okay, is your, uh, is your report flow or your ideas tied together or is it choppy, choppy, choppy? Okay, um, your research and investigation, so your citing of your references, and this is mostly a format mark. Okay, if it's in the right format and there are five of them, you basically get five marks here. All right, so make sure you do it right. Okay, and then overall, just, you know, when I was reading through your report, could I read it? Okay, did it make sense? Wasn't full of spelling mistakes? Wasn't one long sentence, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, questions on the expectations here. All right, one more word about plagiarism. I have problems with plagiarism on this assignment more than any other assignment because it is just a strict report. It's really easy to get caught up in, ooh, that's, that's great information, bringing it over without significantly changing it. Please make sure that you read something then you write it in your own words, okay? If you're copying and pasting, that's plagiarism. It's not gonna sound like you wrote it or your report's gonna sound like eight different people wrote it. 
because they did. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, I want it to sound like you it needs to be in your words. All right. Okay, have at her. The more you get done today and tomorrow, the less you have to do for homework. You could draw it on paper, snap a picture of it, and insert the picture. <laughs>